I'm in the talent administrator, so I'm in his HRC. Okay, because there's a lot of moving parts to this demonstration, we had to, and a lot of processes that are run, which would take place over months, uh, if you will, we had to stage several pieces of this, right? So we have staged the marketplace configuration, we have staged the SBARS process, and we've staged the unit and the soldier preferences. However, I'll go into all those screens and explain that. We'll pick up at the slating, okay? So the first thing that would happen is you would go into market, uh, HRC would go into marketplace configuration. I've got a market already identified. Um, checkpoint three, closed marketplace demonstration. This group ID identifies type of soldiers by compo and uh, by MPC. So for example, we're doing it for active officers and you'll see the rank down here, captain, okay? So when I create this market, if I selected active officer, I wouldn't be able to select a sergeant, for example, okay? And then for the reserve component, we go down to the category, right? We'll have TPU enlisted, you know, AGR, IMA, et cetera, et cetera, okay? When I select a cycle, notice my naming convention 02102, it gives me my Y map, begin and end, okay? If I was doing, I, I believe the officers have two cycles right now and enlisted has four or six, something like that, completely configurable. But um, when you select this, this cycle, it's going to dictate what the YMAVs are, okay? YMAVs, and then you select the YMAV reason. That's important because when we go to add applicants, right, when, during the applicant scrub, when we go to add applicants, it's going to pull in all captains, right, or active components that have a YMAV between uh, 0421 and 0921. YMAV being meaning your month available to move. Okay, so that's how we're getting that's how we're getting our population of soldiers. Okay, for the for the active component and for USAR AGR. Okay, it's very important. And the YMAV and the YMAV configuration is on the person profile. Okay, so we have these dates right here. Applicant scrub beginning in, unit scrub beginning in, market, and slate, okay? So the applicant scrub beginning in just indicates um, that's the date where I can add the applicants, I can manipulate who's coming in, off, I can set labels, et cetera. Unit scrub allows the unit to go in and set field priority, um, as well as HRC to determine what's going to be in the market. Market begin dictates when preferences can be set, and then obviously the slating process. Okay, so this is kind of the master configuration of a given market. Okay, so the next the next screen that I'm going to show you is um, during the process when you click add applicant, what happens, right? As I mentioned, it's going to pull all all captains uh, for active component that are within that YMS. Begin and end. If I go here, my market ID 13. Okay. I come here to the closed market applicants page, okay? Keep in mind, again, this was staged, so it already shows that it's processed, okay? Here's my Impel IDs that came in, okay? Their names, their rank, obviously, because you can have one to many ranks when you're creating a market. This is their Y map, right? Notice that there's different ones, but it falls within that range. There's my Y map reason. Um, labels right here. So this is where I can go in or HRC can go in and set labels on an applicant, right? And this is used to kind of say, hey, for the next assignment, this soldier should really, you know, concentrate on this area or get, an assign uh, get a position um, associated with, with this label, I guess. I, I don't know how else to say it. I, I'd have to have somebody from the Army mission, but you, you get my drift. So there's labels at the applicant level and at the position level. And you can set one to many of those. Okay, profile right here takes you to the profile that Kim showed earlier, and then SCP, right? Again, it's going to show us the SCP of the soldier, right? Here's your Captain America. Okay. Uh, you can also ad hoc in um, uh, applicants into uh, the process in the event you didn't want to, in the event you weren't able to or did not change their YMAP. My opinion, I think that you should always change the YMAP to keep, you know, the profile intact. Right? Um, but it was a request to have the ability to do both. Okay, so this right here is where we would maintain the applicants that are going to be part of the market. If you, if a soldier was on this um, on this this page before you process, before you process, 
that you did not want on, you would simply deselect the create, okay? Or you would change their uh, their YMAVN profile, and when the process reruns, it would take them off. Okay, so there's different ways to take a soldier off of uh, the market.